Hello and welcome to a new episode of Adobe Creative Cloud TV. My name is Terry White. And in this episode, we're gonna take a look at two new features in the August 2013 update for Adobe Muse. So let's go ahead and jump right in. So Muse continues to get better and better. And of course, with this latest update, we've got a couple new things to take a look at. I'm gonna open up a page in my site here. And I'm just gonna let you know a couple things about how I built this particular, um, or altered this particular page. So first of all, I have the navigation that I moved up near the top of the page. And these, these uh, navigation points are linked to anchors. So in other words, if we um, look at the link here, it's showing that it's linked to an anchor called River Launch. And of course we can see the anchor icon to let us know that that's what's happening. Same thing with the uh, with the cove. If we click on that one, it's an anchor that scrolls down on the same page to the desk in the desktop site. So that's not a new feature. That's you've been able to do that in Muse pretty much since day one. But I'm just again letting you know how the page is built. Now the other thing I've done is I've put the navigation all on its own layer. So there's a navigation layer that I've got set up. And that, by the way, layers was a feature of the last major views update. And now that I've got the layer uh, on top of the main page, everything will scroll underneath this layer when I preview this in browser. So, and I've, uh, last but not least, I've got this uh, entire object, everything on this layer pinned to the top of the page. So if we look at the pinning, it's pinned to the top so that it does not move when the user scrolls down. Now, everything I just said, with the exception of layers, has been pretty much there from day one. Layers got added in the last update. But what we're gonna see now is one thing that's added in this update, and that is when you go to a specific spot on the page, in the previous versions of Muse, um, your active state for your navigation wouldn't be active. It wouldn't say that it was active just by scrolling down to a spot on the page. Now that's been updated. So for example, if we go into the site properties and we look at the content tab, there is now a new checkbox that says enable active state for anchor links. So that's what's new. So now that I have that active, if I preview this page in browser, it'll generate the HTML, open it up in my default browser. And as I scroll, down to the river area of the page, you'll notice that the active state for river um, becomes active. If I keep scrolling down to the cove area, then it switches over to the cove. So just having that ability for anchor links, uh, and of course I can click to scroll automatically and it will swap back and forth and become active as I do that as well. Now, of course, you're seeing uh, another effect that uh, we had a couple of updates ago, and that is the scroll motion effect on the leaves. Uh, those are moving at a different pace based on the scrolling. So I wanna go back to Muse and point out a new update for the scroll motion effects. So if I click on this leaf, um, if you wanted to adjust the scroll motion effects in the past, you'd go to the effects panel and you'd go to the scroll motion tab, but now when you go there, there's a kind of a message waiting for you saying that this is not where you go do this anymore. Um, there is now a scroll effects panel and the scroll effects panel is better than having it in a pop-up menu like this because now it can remain consistent. So I can have the panel up, I can click on different objects and see their settings without having to constantly go back and forth to that menu and pulling it down. So I, I'm a big fan of having the uh, scroll motion effects panel now a part of Muse. And of course you can uh, select different objects and see what their uh, effects are set to. So those are the two main things in this um, a, you know, somewhat minor update for Muse. But again, it's part of Creative Cloud. It's part of your subscription. Uh, just do your update and you'll have these abilities in Muse CC. Thanks for your time and we'll catch you next time.